The urgency of climate change. Mitigation. Strategies for a greener future. Politica. What is climate change mitigation? Climate change mitigation refers to actions taken to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and limit the impacts of climate change. Climate change is a pressing issue that affects everyone. It results from an increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, primarily as a result of human activities like burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and other activities. This has led to more frequent and intense natural disasters and rising sea levels. Urgent action is required to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. Understanding climate change mitigation. The goal of climate change mitigation is to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, thereby slowing the rate of global warming and reducing the likelihood of catastrophic climate impacts. Climate change mitigation is important because it can help slow the rate of global warming and reduce the likelihood of catastrophic climate impacts. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, we have already exceeded 1 degree C of warming above pre-industrial levels. We are on track to exceed 1.5 degree C of warming in the next few decades. This level of warming will have significant impacts on our planet, including more frequent and severe heat waves, droughts and floods, as well as the loss of biodiversity and damage to ecosystems. By mitigating our greenhouse gas emissions, we can slow the rate of warming and reduce the severity of these impacts. Strategies for Climate Change Mitigation There are many strategies for climate change mitigation, and they can be implemented at all levels, from individual actions to government policies. Here are some of the most effective strategies for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. 1. Increase energy efficiency. One of the most effective ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions is to increase energy efficiency. Utilizing energy-efficient lighting and appliances, insulating buildings, and enhancing transportation efficiency can all help with this. By reducing our energy consumption, we can reduce the amount of greenhouse gases emitted from power generation and transportation. 2. Transition to renewable energy. Another key strategy for climate change mitigation is to transition to renewable energy sources. This includes solar, wind, hydro, and geothermal energy, which emit little to no greenhouse gases during power generation. By transitioning to renewable energy, we can reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and our greenhouse gas emissions. 3. Promote sustainable transportation. Transportation is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions, but there are many strategies for reducing these emissions. This includes promoting public transportation, walking and biking, as well as transitioning to electric or hybrid vehicles. By reducing our reliance on fossil fuels for transportation, we can significantly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. 4. Implement carbon pricing. Carbon pricing is a policy tool that puts a price on carbon emissions, either through a carbon tax or a cap-and-trade system. By putting a price on carbon, we can incentivize businesses and individuals to reduce their emissions and transition to cleaner energy sources. Carbon pricing has been implemented in many countries and is an effective tool for reducing emissions. 5. Conserve and reforest forests. Forests play a critical role in mitigating climate change by absorbing and storing carbon dioxide. However, Deforestation and forest degradation are major sources of greenhouse gas emissions. By conserving existing forests and reforesting degraded areas, we can significantly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and enhance the capacity of forests to absorb carbon dioxide. Personal story, overcoming climate change denial. I used to be a climate change skeptic. I thought that the science was inconclusive and that the media was exaggerating the issue. However, my perspective changed when I met Sarah, a mother of two from my community. Heavy rains caused a flood that severely damaged Sarah's house. She lost many of her possessions and was forced to evacuate with her family. Seeing the devastation that climate change can cause firsthand made me realize that this issue is not something that can be ignored or dismissed. I started doing more research and talking to experts in the field. I learned about the overwhelming scientific evidence behind climate change and the urgent need for action. I also learned about the many strategies that can be implemented to mitigate the effects of climate change. Now I am a strong advocate for climate change action. I have made changes in my own life such as switching to renewable energy sources and reducing my carbon footprint. I also encourage others to take action and spread awareness about the urgent need for climate change mitigation. Impacts of climate change on vulnerable populations. It is significant to note that the effects of climate change disproportionately affect vulnerable populations such as low-income communities and indigenous peoples. These populations often lack the resources to adapt to the changing climate and are at a higher risk of experiencing the negative impacts of climate change. Examples of successful climate change mitigation policies. There are many successful climate change mitigation policies and programs from different countries and regions. 
For example, Costa Rica has implemented a payment for ecosystem services program that incentivizes forest conservation and reforestation. In Denmark, a carbon tax has been in place since the 1990s, which has helped to reduce the country's greenhouse gas emissions. The city of Bogota, Colombia has implemented a successful sustainable transportation program that prioritizes biking and walking. Conclusion, climate change is a serious threat to our planet, but through climate change mitigation, we have the power to slow the rate of warming and reduce the impacts of climate change by implementing strategies like increasing energy efficiency, transitioning to renewable energy, promoting sustainable transportation, implementing carbon pricing, and conserving and reforesting forests, we can significantly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and create a greener future for ourselves and future generations. It is up to all of us to take action and prioritize climate change mitigation in our personal and political lives. Frequently asked questions. Why is climate change mitigation important? Climate change mitigation is important because it can help slow the rate of global warming and reduce the likelihood of catastrophic climate impacts. What are some strategies for climate change mitigation? Some strategies for climate change mitigation include increasing energy efficiency, transitioning to renewable energy, promoting sustainable transportation, implementing carbon pricing, and conserving and reforesting forests. Insider tips. One of the most effective ways to reduce your carbon footprint is to reduce your meat consumption. Animal agriculture is a major source of greenhouse gas emissions and contributes to deforestation and other environmental issues. By reducing your meat consumption or transitioning to a plant-based diet, you can significantly reduce your impact on the environment. Jane Climate Change Activist It's important to remember that climate change mitigation isn't just about individual actions. It's also about advocating for policies and systems that prioritize reducing greenhouse gas emissions, contacting your elected officials and voicing your support for climate change mitigation policies can help make a difference. John, environmental policy expert. Pros and cons of carbon pricing. Country, region policy implementation. British Columbia, Canada carbon tax implemented in 2008. European Union emissions trading system, ETS, implemented in 2005. California. United States cap and trade implemented in 2013. South Korea emissions trading system, ETS implemented in 2015. China emissions trading system, ETS piloted in 2013. National rollout expected in 2021. Pros cons, encourages businesses and individuals to reduce their emissions can be regressive, with low income households bearing a disproportionate burden. Generates revenue that can be used to invest in climate change mitigation efforts can be difficult to implement and enforce encourages the transition to cleaner energy sources, can be politically unpopular. Is it an effective tool for reducing emissions? Can be subject to market fluctuations.